Hi, my name is Jean La Liberté, and I'm a technical account manager at Autodesk. This video will show you how to use data tools within Navisworks to create links between objects in a model and fields in a spreadsheet to add properties to these objects. I decided to make this video because data tools is a powerful feature of Navisworks that people often find difficult to set up. Hopefully this video will help you understand it better. In this video, we will show you how to add a property tab to an object in Navisworks through an Excel spreadsheet. This will be done by matching a property of the object to a line in the spreadsheet. In this particular case, we will add spool information to some simple ductworks. In order for the link to work, each line in the spreadsheet must have a unique ID that matches a unique property in the model. Normally, element ID in Navisworks can be used as that ID, but other properties can also be used. Once the link is done, a new property tab, in this case spool properties, will have been added to each object, and other columns in the spreadsheet will have become properties of those objects. Before we begin, it is important to note that Data Tools uses Microsoft ODBC to access Excel. However, this function will only work if the versions of all the products matches bitwise. So, if you are on a 32-bit machine, you will have 32-bit ODBC installed, and Data Tools will only work if both Navisworks and Excel are also 32-bit. This is not normally a problem on a 32-bit machine, but can be on a 64-bit machine, where IT groups regularly install 32-bit versions of, X of Office for compatibility reasons. To verify which version of Excel you have installed, select File, then select Help, and under About Microsoft Excel, you will find out which version of Excel you have, in this case, a 64-bit. Similarly, for Navisworks, just go under the Help menu, select About Navisworks, and a dialog will appear showing you which version of Navisworks you have, again, 64-bit. Now that we have verified we are using the right product versions, I will show you how to extract unique IDs from a set of Navisworks objects to use as keys in the spreadsheet we want to create. In the first time, we need to select the objects we are interested in. In this case, I've already created selection sets for my ductwork, and I will select three of these selection sets. To extract a property from this selection, I will first open the Selection Inspector. This shows me the list of all the objects I have selected. Next, I will select the Quick Property Definition. Now I must find a property that can be used as a unique key for the objects. Normally, we use Element ID, but depending on your model, you may have other options. You may also want to export other properties of the objects to help you identify the objects in the spreadsheet, since element ID, while unique, is not very descriptive. In this case, I will add the type property as well to my extraction. We are now ready to export the list of element IDs to a spreadsheet. Select Export to CSV, choose a location and a name for the file, and save the file. We now have a basic spreadsheet with a list of unique IDs that can be used as keys to link our spreadsheet to objects in Navisworks. At this point, we would normally add additional properties to each object by adding columns to the spreadsheet. However, I happen to have a spreadsheet already created. So let's open this now, and we can look at what it looks like. You can see it's got the list of element IDs, and additional spool numbers, which is a new property, the type information we had exported, 
another spool info property that will now be part of the spreadsheet. We are now ready to start using data tools inside of Navisworks. So let's click on data tools and select new. We must now give a name to our new link, so we'll call it spool properties. Next, we must decide which ODBC driver we want to use. Since we want to connect to a spreadsheet, we will use the Microsoft Excel driver. Notice that there are multiple other drivers available, and the same methodology we're using today could also be used to connect to other data sources such as Microsoft Access or an SQL Server. Now that we've selected Excel, we must select the specific spreadsheet we're interested in. For this, click on Setup, select Workbook, and we will pick the spreadsheet I showed you earlier, which is located on my desktop. It's a good idea to also select All Open for Application Lifetime. This will ensure that the connections between the spreadsheet and Navisworks will stay open as long as Navisworks is open. Next, we must construct the appropriate SQL query to extract the information we need out of the spreadsheet. The reason this is required is because ODBC trades the spreadsheet like a database, and an SQL query is the method to extract information from a database. An SQL query is composed of many elements. Let's look at how to specify one that will extract the information we need from a spreadsheet. The first portion of an SQL query is the SELECT statement. SELECT star simply means to select all the rows in the spreadsheet. The second part is the FROM statement, which allows you to specify which table to extract rows from. In the case of a spreadsheet, the tables are the tabs of the spreadsheet, and in our case, we only happen to have one tab and its name properties. The WHERE statement is a filter on the query. In this case, it wants to associate an entry in a column in the spreadsheet with a property of an object in Navisworks. In our case, we want to match the row in the spreadsheet where the element ID is equal to the value of the element ID in a Navisworks object. So in summary, the SQL statement is selecting the element ID column in the spreadsheet tab name properties and it's matching it with the property value in the element ID tab of a Navisbrook object. Now back to Navisworks. The SQL statement we've created will select all the lines in the spreadsheet that we want to associate with objects in Navisworks. We now need to specify which columns in the spreadsheet we want to see appear as properties inside of Navisworks. For this, let's go to the Field dialog and double-click. Now we need to enter the name of the columns that we want to see appear as properties in Navisworks. The name we type here must match exactly the name of the columns inside of the spreadsheet. So I will pick Spool Number and I will pick Spool Info. Notice I didn't pick all the columns in the spreadsheet. You don't have to. Notice as well that the display name is by default the same as the field name, but you can change that if you want to. The display name is the name that will appear as the property name inside of Navisworks. Now our spreadsheet link is complete and we are ready to actually attach the spreadsheet to Navisworks. First ensure you are not currently editing the spreadsheet you want to attach. Then select the link you've just created and click OK. Now if I select an object in Navisworks, we'll find that a new property tab has been added, in this case called Spool Properties, and it's got two new properties, one called Spool Number and the other one called Info, like we specified in our link earlier. These properties can be used like any other properties of Navisworks, so you can use them to create search set, selection set, or even use them in a parent's profiler to change the color of the spools. So here we are, we have achieved our goal 
of adding properties to Navisworks objects through a spreadsheet. Finally, if you want to share your model with other people without having to send the spreadsheet along, you can just publish the model, ensuring that you select Embed Database Properties. This will take a copy of the properties and embed it inside the NWD file so they will be sent along when you send the file to somebody else. This now completes our demo. I hope you found this useful and it will help you take advantage of data tools in Navisworks. Thank you.